There's something more special about this month other than Valentine's Day. Sister Rosetta Tharp, mean on the guitar, just rocks it out. She was the one who started that. Elvis followed suit, Chuck Berry followed behind. Lots of other people followed behind this style of guitar playing and they called it rock and roll. But she was the first to ever do it, to ever hone a guitar in the manner that she has done. The interesting part about finding this piece of information out is that I've been trying to learn how to play guitar. A lot of my family have recently started picking up a guitar and trying to learn how to play. And especially me, like this one right here. It's still a little dusty, but being that this month is the month out of the year, 28 days out of the year where brown people, African-American people, celebrate their heritage in the United States. I found it suiting to bring her up today because I've been trying to learn how to play a guitar, but also I've been messing with Lander samples and I've been listening to some guitar rhythms and I've been really enjoying them. So I mixed them into a, um, a beat. And with that being said, on top of mixing that all that into a beat, also put it to some footage and then I kind of got carried away and I started making different beats and more footage and more beats and more footage until I got to a point where I was like, I need to show you guys what I'm doing here. I'm not only using Lander, I'm using Premiere Pro as well. In Premiere Pro, you can use the Lander FX Suite plugins, but in Lander, you can download the samples, you can mix them in the creator mode, export them out, download them from creator mode, they get synced by BPM and key, put them into your project on Premiere Pro, line them up with your footage, and you could stagger the clips however you want, as long as they still sound pretty good. Now, most of the time, some come out as an eight bar loop and some come out as a four bar loop, so you might have longer clips than others, but more, more likely, it's either four or eight. If it's a shorter clip, it's four bar. If it's a longer clip, it's eight bars. But with that being said, you can make some pretty good adjustments and arrangements with these clips, and then you can duplicate the clips and pitch the sounds of the clips to give a more dynamic sound and you know going forward. But I'm not gonna go all super deep into everything, but what I am gonna do is show you just basically the steps I took to create some of the footage that you just saw previously. Some of you may already know, but the DMocal brand is all about multimedia creation. And with multimedia, it becomes audio and music and video and photography and much more. Eventually, it might be expanded onto gaming design and stuff like that. But with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into Lender Creator Mode and pick some samples. And then we're going to put those samples into Premiere Pro. And I'm going to put it to some footage and see how it sounds. Okay, so I'm in the floral pack right now. Um, Looking for some pianos. I 
like this one. It's the only one I really, I'm really feeling for the kind of mix I'm trying to go with. So I think I'm going to add that one. I'm going to go with another Astro Soul pack and go with Aurora. I like that one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add this one to the creator mix. Let's see what we have here. Sounds like this on here. Um, it sounds okay on this. Um, the key is C major, 80 BPM. I tried to pick ones that were already 80 BPM, but the jazz guitar ensemble is 66, 76 BPM. Um, so it has to speed it up a little bit, but. Once we put it into Premiere Pro, we'll see what it's really like. Okay, so we are in Premiere Pro now. I have my Lander folder right here, and the footage I want to edit is here. Um, the footage is about 14 minutes long, but we're going to shorten it. So. Making a making a fourteen minute process turn into a a uh, maybe a thirty second process. The piano, the piano uh rhythm is. Let's see how that all sounds together. Mute that right there.
So what'd you think of that? That was pretty good, right? I liked it. If you liked it, throw me a like on the um, the video. Throw a comment down. Let me know what you thought. You know, you could have hated it for all, you know. All I did was try to show you what to do, how to get to an end result with some footage and some samples from Lander Studio or the creator mode in Lander Studio. I wasn't trying to make a perfect video, but I was trying to show you that you can take some loops from Lander, make a track, that you love, take that track, find some footage or film some footage of your own and put it to the lander loops and samples that you created into a music track. Edit you know, your footage to the beat of the track you created and now you've produced your music and your video. And it sounds like my chicken nuggets are done. So if you're interested in lander studio, I'll have a link in the description or I'll have a link in the comments if you click on it, you'll get 34% off and your Lander Studio will be $99 for the year instead of $149. But make sure you click that link down below. Get set up with Lander Studio. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.